Hello everyone, I hope everybody is doing well and welcome back. I received my Sephora order from my Shop With Me video from last week. So I thought it'd be fun to do a little Sephora haul and then a try on portion. I don't have a full face of makeup in here so I'm going to throw in some of the things I've been trying out this month. I know I've been throwing a lot of new products at you guys the last couple of weeks so let me know what you'd like to see next if you want to see like a, a full face of nothing new, a Shop My Stash something along those lines, let me know because I know it's been overwhelming. But before we get into it, I would love for you to subscribe if you aren't already. It means so much to me and let's get to it. So I'll first start off with the new skincare I purchased. There's a few new things and a few things I needed to grab a backup on. So I'll start with this right here. This is the Caudalie Vino Perfect Instant Brightening Moisturizer. I was really, really intrigued by this. This has niacinamide in it and it's a day cream. So I really wanted to test this out, see how it goes. I used it once and I have no opinions on it yet since I've only used it the one time. But I love collecting Caudalie moisturizers. They're by far my favorite from the entire lineup. They're just really solid. I love their textures. They're usually really thick and nice. Um, so I'll see how this one goes. I'll keep you guys updated. But here is the packaging. It's very beautiful, just clean and simple. I love the new packaging they're rolling out with this year. Another new thing I'm testing out here is the Ordinary Niacinamide 10% with Zinc 1%. A lot of you have said that this dried out your skin. I haven't experienced that yet. I used this two nights in a row so far. Uh, I haven't noticed any big differences yet. It's only been two days, of course. So I'll keep you updated on this one once again, but we'll see. It seems very similar to the other niacinamide formulas I've tried. Maybe this one's just a little bit more gloopy, but so far, so good. I got a backup of my bestie here, <laughs> the Summer Friday CC Me Serum. This stuff is a miracle for my skin. It helps to fade my acne scars so quickly, so I needed to snatch another one of these up real quick. I have been using it for about two to three months, I believe, and it's been nothing but incredible for me. I also got some backups from the Inky List. This one right here is the Niacinamide Serum. I don't know why I went so hard with the Niacinamide. I got another one of these, very simple, very affordable, um, and I'm running low on my current one of <laughs> this. And the other product I picked up is the Salicylic Acid Cleanser, which I love. I actually just finished my first bottle yesterday, so this came in in perfect timing. I love this stuff. It keeps my acne at bay. I do have very blemish prone skin, so this stuff is incredible. And that's it for the skincare. I also decided to repurchase another one of my perfumes. This is the Replica by The Fireplace. I just had to. I have a third left in the bottle I'm using right now, so it was the perfect time to purchase it, especially since I could get a percentage off. Why not? So now let's get into the new Makeup. So I did go through with picking up another color of the Gucci bronzer. And this shade looks a lot better for my skin tone. It's not as red. I don't know, it just looks a lot nicer. So I'm excited to try that out today. I purchased the Fenty Beauty Eavesdrop Blurring Skin Tint. So excited about this. The packaging is even more beautiful in person. I love how it's like a little gem or something. I got another shade in the Kosas Revealer Concealer, which I'm excited for. You guys know it's my all-time favorite concealer. Needed a better shade for my skin. And I did get another backup of my Fenty Beauty Eye Primer. So I'm still working through the one I have currently, so I'm going to th throw this in my backup bin. I did purchase the Patrick Ta for Face cream contour and powder bronzer duo which Jamie also picked up for me so I decided to gift the one that I purchased to my mom I already gave it to her since I, I don't need to and I didn't feel like going through the return process and the last thing I picked up which I'm really really excited to have back is the Marc Jacobs at lash mascara I think this is my all-time favorite mascara ever it just has everything I want in a mascara and it was on sale and it's scaring me that it's being discontinued, so let's pray that that's not a thing. And the last thing I actually got with my points is such a joke. The point system at Sephora sucks so bad. They had a makeup eraser available and I love using those when I film a video. I always dampen one up. Since I swatch a lot of things on the back of my hand and such, I always use them to wipe off the swatches. It's better than using wipes. So I picked up the makeup eraser with like 250 points, I believe, and this is it. <laughs> Look at this little square. Like what? What a rip. 
What a rip. So that's everything I picked up from Sephora. Now let's apply it. <laughs> I guess the haul portion was a little unnecessary since you guys literally watched me purchase all of these things. You guys are probably watching this like, yeah girl, we know. But anyways, let's start off with the Fenty Beauty Ease Drop. I got the shade 5, which is good because I have been spending a little time outside if you haven't noticed. I got a tan. Thank you for noticing. I am really, really excited to try this on. I'm going to use my fingers to blend it in, which I don't typically like doing. It's just one of those things that sends shivers down my spine for some reason. But here we go. Oh, I feel like I should have grabbed maybe less. I feel like that has quite a bit more coverage than I was expecting. Good thing I have this one inch makeup eraser. Okay, this has way more coverage than I was expecting for a skin tint. I should have eased the amount of drops I used. <laughs> okay, I wiped my hands better this time. Now let's rub it in like a loche. This texture is actually really nice. It's not sending any shivers down my spine, which is good. This is looking really, really nice from what I'm seeing. I'm like a foot away from my mirror right now, so we'll see. But from what I'm seeing right now, looks good. And I didn't put any primers or anything. I'm just putting this right on top of my SPF. This is the SPF I used today. Let's take a good up close look at my skin here. It literally looks like I didn't put anything on my skin at all, which is crazy. I haven't watched many reviews on this yet, so I don't know the consensus, but from what I'm seeing right now, this looks incredible. I'm just gonna go over everything with a sponge to even out any areas where my fingerprints are. <laughs> I wanna see if I could build it up. I'm sure I can, right here. Oh yeah. Here, I'll give you guys an up close look now. When I added the sponge, it screwed things up for me. So don't do that. Look at this side of my skin actually. It looks good. And the finish is beautiful. It's a very satiny look. It's not too glowy, nor too matte. It's right in the middle. Looks lovely. It does really blur my skin. It just makes my skin look the way I want it to. It's not too full coverage. I can still see my acne scars peeking through. It just looks seriously like skin. <laughs> I'm amazed. <laughs> so now I'm going to be going in with my concealer. I picked up the shade 03 in the Kosas Revealer Concealer. I've had shades 4, 3.5, now I have 3, which I think is going to be the winner for my skin tone. I'm happy they revamped this line because the shades were a bit yellow the first time around. I feel like that's a way better shade for my skin tone. Maybe it's still a bit yellow, but better than the other options. This base though, those textures look really, really nice together. I feel like it's okay, maybe a little bit yellow. Mm, kind of sad, but I'll still use it. <laughs> I'm going to set my under eye with the Dior Backstage Powder No Powder. This stuff has been amazing me as well. It doesn't look like powder on my skin at all, and I've been using it a lot recently. You can see the pattern in the powder is already disappearing. I think it's hard panning. You can see kind of where I used it. See how it has that like waxy shine to it? It's not allowing me to pick up any product. Maybe I used a wet brush in here, but I'm gonna focus it right here. I don't like it under the eye as much as the Pat McGrath one, but for testing purposes, I've been trying out this powder a lot. I'm also going to add some on my forehead. I'm using this bigger brush, Royal and Langnickel Balm 125 brush. I'm using that for my forehead and my chin. <laughs> Ooh, for bronzer, I realized I picked up two options. I think I'm gonna try out the new Gucci one since I used this in my last video. I grabbed the shade three, and I'm going to show it next to shade two that I had originally. So you can see that shade three is like lighter. This is shade three, this is shade two. Here, I'll flip them to the side-ish so you can see the finish, or I mean the actual undertone. So this one is better for my skin tone. This one is far more red. Let's see how this goes. I'll swatch them. So here they are on my hand. This is shade two and here's three. So I'm realizing I played it really safe with the Sephora purchases I went through with. They're all kind of products I already used, just different shades. <laughs> That's a way, way better color. 
I forgot how pigmented this is, so I'm gonna take a lot less. It just took me like a solid five minutes to pick a blush, but I landed on this one. This is the Tower 28 Beach Please Rush Hour Blush. I haven't used this one on camera yet, so perfect opportunity to do so. I'm loving the way my skin looks today. I might throw in a wear test at the end of the day to see how things go today, but I can't believe how good my skin looks with this foundation. Also, I decided to skip highlighter today. I just wasn't in the mood. Plus this color I think looks cute with my top. This blush, brush I mean, is the Royal and Lay Nickel Balm 38 Complexion Brush. So now I'm just going to quickly do my brows off camera and I'll be right back. I also did prime my eyelids with the Fenty Beauty Eye Primer. For my eyes, I wanted to try on this Kosas 10 second eyeshadow by itself. This stuff is just still so mesmerizing to me. How oh, it's so liquidy in here. It's so interesting, but I wanted to see what it looked like by itself without the peach. Oh no, I just put it on its side and a bunch of it leaked out. I have to clean. <laughs> going to sweep it across my entire lid and a little bit into my actual crease. Oh, I should have picked my brush beforehand, but I'm taking this random fluffy brush to diffuse that into my crease. And then I'm going to pat over what's on my mobile lid. Oh, that's gorgeous on its own. I was thinking about adding a bit of bronzer in my crease, but I'm happy I didn't because the base color is perfect. It's not so shimmery or glittery all throughout. It has a nice actual base color to it. I'm going to take the stuff that's spilt and sop it up with this brush and I'm going to carry that through on my lower. This is a Smith 233 by the way, the new super tiny one. That's beautiful. I'm happy to see what the actual color looks like. It's a lot more bronzy than in my last video. So I'm going to do the same thing on this eye and I'll be right back. Okay, so here's that shadow on. It's so beautiful and easy to use. So now comes a very exciting moment, uh, something I've been waiting for a long time. I'm cracking open the Marc Jacobs at Lashed Mascara. Oh, I miss the way it smelled. <laughs> so excited to have this back. I know it's gonna take a couple uses for it to get to that sweet spot but I love this brush so much because it's so easy and effortless. You don't have to think about what you're doing very much. Just because it's very thin, it doesn't hit your eyeshadow. It's easy to maneuver. And the formula follows through your lashes all the way through. It's just so nice. Ooh, I love my lashes, especially this eye. I love how they're super flared. Ugh. I'm going to add some of the M Cosmetics Pick Me Up Mascara as my bottom lash, bottom lash mascara. And here we are, the eyes all done. I did throw in a little bit of an inner corner highlight. I used the Vesca Beauty highlighter just to brighten it up in there. Love these eyes, very simple and effortless. So let's move on to the lips and then we're done. I'm just going to keep it very simple for my lips. I'm going to line them with the MAC Oak Lip Liner. I'm thinking about switching out my office, redoing it a bit. I feel like it needs a refresh. It's just very boho in here and that's not so much my style anymore, but I don't know what I wanna do. So I feathered that color onto my lips as well, just for a slight tint and to even them out a bit. And now I'm going to apply the iconic London Lester Lip Oil in the shade Queen Bee. Okay, I love the way that this makeup turned out today. I just love everything about it. I think this is the standout product for me today. I cannot believe how good my skin looks. I'll zoom you guys in so you can see the final up close shot of everything. What do you guys think? I for one love it. I guess this is the only new product I actually brought into today's video, so that's good. Uh, everything else was just a different shade. So I already previously loved all those items, but 
I think this is amazing. Hello, so it's actually the next day because after I filmed that video, I did taxes for the rest of the day and then I had two brain cells left at the end of the day. So I just went straight to bed, washed my face, forgot that I wanted to do a check-in. I did a very similar routine today. No primers or anything underneath the Fenty Ease Drop foundation. A lot of the same products. And here's how it's looking. I applied this face of makeup around 8 a.m. It's now 1 p.m. right on the dot. And this is what we're looking like. I haven't touched up my makeup at all. I did put powder in the center of my face like usual. How does it look? I need to grab my mirror. It looks incredible. It's not gathering up in any areas. It just looks exactly the same as when I applied it first. I'll do a couple more check-ins, but right now, the only thing that has changed is I'm probably a little bit glowier just because my natural oils are seeping through. But other than that, no change, doctor. No change. Okay, I'll see you guys in a few. Hello, everyone. It's time to do the last check-in for this video. It's now at 10. 38 at night. So this makeup look has been on my face for a very very long time today I am ready for bed now, but I can't believe how well this makeup look wore today I touched it up. I'd say halfway through the day I added a touch of powder in the center of my face my natural oils did seep through even more, but that's just oily skin things, but it looks phenomenal everywhere. The only place that gathered was right here in my nose crevice, which is really, really normal and nobody ever sees that unless if I do like a face like like that and I hope I, I don't do that. But it looks great. It has faded around my jawline, but that's just because I was working on my computer a lot today and I like to rest my hand here for some reason. So that's because of that but I am really, really excited to apply this tomorrow morning. I haven't been this excited for a foundation in a long, long time. I can't even remember the last foundation I was this excited about, but it wore amazingly. It definitely gets my stamp of approval. So this was a great success. I'm so happy I picked this up and I full heartedly recommend it. So I think that's it for me today. Now let's hop back to past Julia for the outro. So that is all for me today, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed today's video and found it fun or helpful. If you did, please give this video a hug. Did I just say a hug? A like if you enjoyed it. It would help me out so very much. I'll make sure to link all of these products I used in today's video in the description down below as always, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Love you. Bye!